Hello and welcome to this vlog. I'm Chris Tries from WorkspaceGuru.com and in this vlog I will show you how you can pass through a consumer GPU like an NVIDIA GeForce to a virtual machine and use that GPU in an RDP session. I will also give some uh, limitations about this solution and in the end I will also demonstrate it with a Quadro card so you can see the difference between those two cards. So recently I bought a new home lab and I did this with uh, AMD Threadripper CPU and one of the downsides of the AMD Threadripper CPU it doesn't have a built-in GPU so I was forced to buy a separate uh, GPU. So I just chose the cheapest one possible uh, and put it in my home lab. After that I got thinking well VMware doesn't really need that GPU so maybe I can pass it through to a virtual machine. And that is when I get, got into some uh, troubles finding out uh, the correct settings and the last hurdle I had to take was um, okay, using that GPU throughout an RDP session. So I got everything working eventually and I thought well, it's maybe uh, worth uh, sharing that with you guys. So I will now make my screen smaller to the side and you can see my desktop and we're gonna go through the complete uh, configuration. So let's get started. I'm here, I'm in vCenter and here I see the host which has the graphics card. So first thing I'm gonna do is click on configure, then scroll down to hardware and choose PCI devices. Here you can see all the devices that has, have passed through enabled. Your graphics card, uh, when you first install it, would probably not have passed through enabled. So how do we enable it? Well, we click on configure pass through here. You get a list of all devices that are available. So you select the graphics card. Don't forget also select this one, the HDMI DisplayPort audio controller. So select these, Click on OK and it will toggle the pass through. You probably will get a warning that your system needs to be rebooted before the pass through works. So I already did that, I already rebooted. So I got devices here. So now I can give these devices to a virtual machine. So let's go to a virtual machine. Here I have my test device. I'm going to edit the settings. And I'm going to click add new device. And here I'm going to choose a PCI device. You see it automatically already finds my uh, pass to enable device. And I'm going to add a second device. So one will be the audio controller and the other will be the graphics card. Okay. One thing we also need to do here is we need to reserve all the guests memory. When you're using a PCI device, you need to enable this. So we're gonna reserve the complete memory so that it's locked when the VM boots. Now we need to do some advanced options. So we're gonna to go to VM options. And here we're gonna to go to uh, advanced, edit configuration, add configuration parameter. So the first one we're gonna give is hypervisor.cpuid.v0 false. And if everything is right, this is all you need to do in the settings of the virtual machine. This virtual machine is Windows Server 2019. I haven't said that yet, but that's what the virtual machine is right now. So I'm now gonna start up the virtual machine. If I did everything correctly, it should boot with the PCI device attached. Looks like it's booting. I can see a VMware screen. I'll wait, give it a few seconds to finish the boot. And then we go into RDP and we will see if the device is there. So the machine is turned on and now we're gonna connect to it through RDP. Okay, 
I'm going to take a look at the device manager. And here you will see that it has a display adapter with a, a warning label. So this is actually the NVIDIA display adapter, but we need to install the driver. So I just went on to the NVIDIA site and downloaded the Windows 10 driver, but this is Windows Server 2019, but the driver works. So I'm going to start the installation. This will take some while, so I will uh, fast forward the installation. So you did see that the checking compatibility took some time. I don't know why that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna choose the NVIDIA graphics driver. Agree and continue. Uh, Express installation, that's fine. And it's gonna install the driver. So this will also take a while. I will speed it up. So the installation is done and VIA is finished. So this is just a consumer graphics card, a GeForce 710. This is a consumer driver running on Windows 2019 server. So I'm now gonna restart the VM and I will be back with you when the restart's finished. Okay, so the system is rebooted as we can see. If I now press right mouse, I can also see I got the NVIDIA control panel. Um, if you open the control panel, but you don't have a display connected to the graphics card, it will give an error message, no display connected. Uh, what I did, I took an old monitor, I put it next to my uh, VMware box, and I just did a cable between that old monitor and this graphics card, and even turned off that monitor, and now the NVIDIA control panel works. So it is saying you got a GeForce GT 710. So one thing I want to do now is download a program called GPU set. This way we can see if it's really all working. So we're going to download this, the default version. I'll choose a server close. All right. Copy it over to the virtual machine. Install it. Yes. Uh, create a desktop shortcut, yeah, it's okay. The installation is finished. Okay, so GPU set can now detect what kind of graphics card you have on your system. So I got the VMware default one, and now I can also see I got the GeForce GT710. So it gives me all the information about the graphics card. These have, even have some sensors, like seeing the GPU load. Another thing you can also do is check out Task Manager and then more details, performance and GPU is there. Okay, so now I wanna check if the GPU is really working. So you can see the information here. I will now start up a GPU uh, test. Well, this isn't a really good GPU, so I'm gonna set it low, not full screen and let's do a HD uh, resolution. I start the run. So I put that window a little bit there because I want to see the GPU load. So you can see it's working. I got the GPU load. So the benchmark is working. One thing I did notice is the following. So this is already true G, uh, RDP. What I did notice is if you have an RDP host role installed on the machine, then this is not working. What you need to do then is set a local policy. I will open the local policies, browse to administrative templates, Windows components, 
then remote desktop services session host so if it's a real session host you need to do this one and then uh, turn on um, remote session host environment and then tell him use hardware graphics adapter for remote desktop server session so you need to set this GP, uh, GPO if it is a real session host then it can access the GPU for the whole RDP session again. Okay, one of the things I noticed that doesn't work is OpenGL to RDP. It will give this error. It is not correctly installed and it cannot initialize. To fix this, uh, we need a Quadro card. So only Quadro cards support GL to RDP. So what I did, I bought an old Quadro card off of eBay, put it in the host, and I will now configure it uh, the same way I did the consumer card on this test machine, and we're gonna see if this works. So I'm gonna do all that and get back to you guys. So I'm back, and what I said, I bought a uh, used Quadro, a K2000 from eBay, put it in my uh, VMware box and did the same pass through. So I followed all the same steps. And uh, now if I look at the GPU set, I can see I got a Quadro. All right, so that's working. And if we start up the benchmark and we set it to OpenGL, and let's do it on low, yes, run. You see the benchmark starts. So with a consumer GeForce, you can use direct uh, X uh, through RDP, but you cannot use uh, OpenGL through RDP. So if you want to use OpenGL, you have to uh, get a Quadro card from, from, for instance, eBay or something. So this is working now. One of the great things when you do have OpenGL support is that you can also use uh, programs like uh, DaVinci Resolve video editing on this VM. So for startup, uh, I got it installed here. Uh, let's find it. Uh, yeah, Resolve. So Resolve will load when it detects a GPU. So if you have that consumer GPU in there, the program will start up, uh, but then when you get to the editing panel, it is just one black screen because that's all loaded in uh, GL and there's no support for GL. So, but now because I have a Quadro in the virtual machine, I can use this program and it runs okay. So just a quick recap of all the things we've done now. So, we... I showed you two solutions, one with a consumer GeForce graphics card as 710 and one with a Quadro K2000. For both, we need to enable pass-through in VMware and then reboot the host, then assign those devices uh, to the VM, then uh, reserve all the guest memory, go into the VM advanced settings, add the uh, hypervise uh, GUID uh, version one to false, um, and then boot the VM, install the driver, set the RDP policy. I would just set it always just to make sure that it's running because I did see some strange behavior that on Surf 2016, it didn't want to take the, my video card until I set that uh, policy. So I would just always set a policy. And then depending on your workload, you can just use that consumer GPU or not. Uh, so if your workload uh, includes some GL stuff, uh, get a Quadro of eBay or something. So that is the video. Uh, I want to tell you guys that I will be making more of these kinds of videos. I like the way this content is. I can give a lot of information in a short time. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like this uh, vlog. And I will be back on the next one. Bye.